darkness settled over the streets of North London. The streetlights cast their dingy glow onto the gloomy winter clouds. The silence was broken only by the hooting of a very gifted bat. <laughs> the moon was full and astronauts queued outside. Somewhere a wild dog howled madly, but it was in Tokyo Zoo, so nobody heard it. <laughs> the wind whistled all through the night and other Welsh hymns. <laughs> a car pulled up outside 15 Birchwood Close. Nigel was giving Shirley a lift home. Nigel was a fine young man, heart of gold, nerves of steel, alabaster feet and a knob of butter. He hoped Shirley would invite him in for coffee, or better still, some rampant sex. <laughs> Last time he recalled, all he got was a peck on the cheek. But that's one of the hazards of keeping a parrot in your underpants. <laughs> Why don't you come up to my flat for some rampant sex, said Shirley. <laughs> Nigel could hardly believe his ears. But then nobody could, they were three feet long and covered in fur. <laughs> There's one thing I must tell you, though. I'm not on the pill, said Nigel. <laughs> Don't worry, said Shirley, put this on. It was the Beach Boys' greatest hits. <laughs> they gazed at each other. Their eyes met to form one huge eye that could see in all directions. <laughs> Nigel broke the silence. He apologised and opened the window. <laughs> Relaxing with the music and wine, they slowly started to undress. There was a slight moment of embarrassment for Nigel. When he took his underpants off, the parrot fell out. <laughs> they sat opposite each other, naked on the bed. Shirley had the most perfect breasts. He leaned towards her. They embraced. And there aren't many breasts that can do that. <laughs> Nigel licked his lips. He then licked the small of his back, which for my money beats the breast trick. <laughs> they made love. <coughs> Nigel, she said afterwards, Am I the first girl you ever made love to? I don't know, said Nigel. Were you stuck in a lift in Harrods in 1974? 